Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in as always, man. Today, we got a very, very special video, man. But as always, I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense. I hope everybody is doing well, man. Shout out to y'all for tuning in as always. Today, we got the top 10 unisex fragrances in my collection, bro. These things are what I call his or hers, which is personally my favorite category. This is a fragrance that you buy uh, and you're probably going to end up sharing with your partner. So you might as well get the biggest bottle available. I feel like unisex scents are like my favorite, bro. I don't know what it is, but I just like stepping outside the box. I like standing out from other guys and wearing something that maybe a female will wear herself, but may find attractive on me. So that's just how I see it. A lot of guys don't like to do it, but that's just me. But today we got to start with the honorable mentions right here. Excuse me. So I didn't want to include these because I talk about these a lot. And they're both clones from Alexandria Fragrances. You know, I'm not sponsored. I just love Alexandria Fragrances. This one is Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, which is a, a clone of Angel Share by Killian. And this one is Apple Chrome, which is a clone of Parfums de Marley Ojan. And I like the both of these. They do a similar job. They're like desserty, pie-ish. This one's like an apple pie. And it also has like honey in it. This one's more of a cinnamon, kind of boozy. But they're both the same type of gourmand. They do the same job. I just didn't want to include them because I always talk about them. But they're great, great fragrances. Great longevity, great smell, great everything. These things are great. Check out Alexandria Fragrances. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. I just really like these two. But I just didn't want to, you know, talk about them all the time because, you know, I feel like that's boring. But on to the list, starting at number 10. This one's different because it has a lot of rose in it. And this Mason Alhambra Anthony Rose. It's a clone of Initio's, what is it, Atomic Rose. Really, really good stuff. It has Bulgarian Rose and I think Turkish Rose in it. Got some citrus on the top. Really, really nice. Pretty much what you get here is like a stemmy green rose. It's like a vine of a rose. Really, really nice stuff. I was very nervous about this because, you know, this is probably my first rose fragrance. And, you know, rose can lean like grandma-ish in your mind. But this, this was perfect for me. This is nice, unisex, kind of a springtime, fall, can red to the winter. I don't know on a steaming hot day I wouldn't wear it, but like on a moderately, you know, kind of hot day, you probably can get away with it. But this is nice stuff, man. A nice rose, unisex. Great performance too from Mason Alhambra, man. I really, really like this stuff. And the bottle looks really, really identical to that Atomic Rose. And I also smelled that Atomic Rose at Saks and they're really, really similar. Obviously, you know, quality differences and stuff like that. But man, this comes really, really close. I got this for like 30 bucks off Triple Traders. Really, really good stuff, man. Really, really, let's go ahead and get a spray while we at it. Really, really, oh yeah. See how I just sniffed it right in the air? No sneezing, no synthetics, no alcohol blast. This stuff is good. Really, really good stuff, man. Number 10, Anthony Rose. All right, y'all, at number nine, we got Lamar by Kajal. This stuff, bro, oh my goodness. This is a pineapple bomb. Not like a Cayette Alfresan. I say this is a little bit different. This is more syrupy, and it also has some woods in the back. I don't think there's any saffron in this, but it definitely gives me like a, a back route Rouge 540 kind of vibe, with, except it's replaced with the saffron is replaced with pineapple. So I really, really like this stuff, man. And this stuff just hangs in the air. It hangs in the air. I was deciding between adding this and BR540 in the list, but you know, I always talk about that DNA. So I wanted to switch it up and give y'all something different. This Lamar by Kajal is just amazing. It's mouth watering, unisex. And there's some rose in here as well. This does lean kind of feminine. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. This does lean feminine. But if you're a guy, you well-dressed, you can rock this. You clean, well-groomed. This is amazing stuff right here, man. Lamar Bacajal, nighttime killer, bro. Where is to a club, dinner, social setting? You're going you gonna to put up some good numbers, my guy. At number nine, we got Lamar Bacajal. All right, y'all. Number eight, we got something that's kind of new to my collection. Oh, yeah. I've been eyeballing it a lot, a lot, a lot. But... Once I got it in my possession, I saw what the hype was all about. It's by Rado Baldi Al Freak. Man, this stuff is so, so good. There's like an African orange in it. There's a lot of musk. Oh, man. it's I can't describe it, bro. Like, this is this and Bond Number 9 Lafayette Street are probably the best smelling fragrances in my collection, you know, according to me. The only thing bad about this one is the performance is not where I would like it personally, but... You know, for a nice, quick, freshy, everyday scent, this is a perfect signature scent right here for you, man. 
Pareto Baldi Alfreak smells like nothing like else that I've ever smelled before. Like I said, that orange and that must just shines and gives you something more of a texture, like different look than a regular like stereotypical freshy with like citrus and you know woods and stuff like that. This is totally, totally different. I never smelled this on anybody else. And this, this thing is actually pretty popular, so I'm surprised I haven't smelled it, but that just goes to show you that not a lot of people wear niche fragrances these days. So yeah, man. At number seven, what, number seven? We got number seven? 10, oh, number eight, actually. Number eight, we got Barreto, Baldi Al Freak. We'll be higher, but like I said before, the performance is just kind of lacking. All right, y'all, number seven, we got a clone of Zherzhov, uh Herba Pura. It is uh, from Al Harmain, and it is Amber Oud Gold Edition. Amber Oud Gold Edition, y'all. This stuff right here, this stuff right here. Let me tell you about this. This thing, a fruit bowl, like all the fruit you can name, melons, bananas, strawberries, orange, like every single fruit. Imagine all those fruits, like coated, excuse me, coated in vanilla, like this wrap in vanilla, bro. This thing is so, so nice. It's one of the first fragrances I had in my collection too, because I saw it like blowing up on YouTube, YouTube Shorts and TikTok. So I was like, let me go ahead and copy and see what the hype is about. Heard the comments were insane. I heard the longevity is insane. And both of those things are true, bro. This thing is a, is a head turner. I can't even imagine wearing this on a spring night, summer night, and it's nice. It's got a nice breeze outside. Man, this stuff is really, really good. Fruity, can lean feminine. A lot of people says it's lean feminine. This is very, very explosive as the, like, the projection is insane, bro. So you definitely gotta watch the sprays if you're gonna be wearing this in like a daily, like work everyday setting. But hey, man, if you're going out to a social setting, let this thing fly and you're gonna have no problems getting attention bro this is so so good so so good and a lot of people are not talking about it right now because you got the latafa comrades you got a Rasasi hawaz getting all the hype you even got like uh what's the other one like what's latafa asides getting a lot of hype right now so a lot of people are forgetting about the all harmains but the all harmains always have great quality man i'm not gonna lie never disappointed when i pick up an all harmain fragrance but Really, really good stuff. At number seven, we got the clone of Herba Pura, R. Harmain, Amber Oud Gold Edition, man. Fruity, tropical, explosion. All right, y'all, number six, we got an Alexandria fragrance right here that is duping uh, Initio Psychedelic Love. This one is called Alexandria Purple Haze. Boy, oh boy. It's something about this fragrance. And I'm gonna try to, Keep this in the PG way. It's something about this fragrance that makes you like get freaky. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's something about it. It's a note in here, it's something. It just make you, it just puts you in the mood. Like right now I'm looking at you through the camera. I'm like, nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, let me chill. But this stuff does put you in the mood, bro. Like if you're going on a date and you're trying to head back to the crib, spray this on your sheets, you know what I mean? And, and, and go to work, bro. Cause this stuff right here, man, it's powdery, it's woody. It's like, it has this balsamic feel to it as well. This stuff is so good, man. Like it's, I can't even describe it, bro. The powder in this is just amazing. It's not even, I'm not even a powder lover, bro. Like, oh man, this stuff, bro. It's completely unisex. And the fact that you can wear this as a signature scent because this is such a great price is mind blowing. It smells just like the real Initio as well. This, I can't even describe the smell like I would like, man, because this stuff is so good, bro. Like, it is mind-blowing. Like, I never had a fragrance that puts me in the mood to do some dirty deeds. You feel me? But this is just, this is just crazy. Ah, oh, man, you got to get your nose on this, bro. You got to get your nose on this. This is one of those fragrances that that's niche, but not a lot of people are offended by it. You know, niche fragrances are hard. I guess it's not a niche fragrance, but the DNA. Niche DNAs are kind of like hard to be liked by everybody because they're so different. Niche fragrances stand out. But this is different and also attracts the mass appealing nose. So, and like I said, it puts you in that mood, man. This stuff is amazing, bro. See, so yeah, what number are we at, man? So one, two, three, four, five. So this is a uh, what, number six, I think? I don't know. I don't know what number it is, man. But whatever number it is, it's on the list, bro. This stuff, it just made me lose my train of thought. That's how good it is, man. But yeah, calling a psychedelic love. We got Purple Haze. All right, y'all, number five. This fragrance would be higher, but it's kind of not as versatile as I would like. But I got my nose on this a couple times in Sephora, 
and I was just waiting on the perfect chance to cop it. Still haven't caught me a full bottle, but I got a two ML, a three ML right here, and I got a ten ML right behind me. But uh, yeah, this one is Tom Ford Black Orchid. Tom Ford Black Orchid. I know a lot of people say this thing smells like death to them because like it has a dark vibe, funeral really vibe. And I didn't want to cop it because I'm the type of person. I'm not dark. I'm not mysterious. I'm like an outgoing life with a party type of dude. And I was scared. I try to match my fragrances with my personality. And this 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 doesn't smell like my personality. This is dark, quiet, mysterious, dominating. But it's so like good for like an all black formal attire type of thing, man. Oh my god. It's like it got so many notes, so many citruses, so many florals. I think it's some sort of truffle in this as well. It's so many notes, bro. It's probably like 30 plus notes in this. But it just smells, maybe some dates in here as well, but I, I just, it's so many notes, like I said before. But this thing is just only sold. Sorry, I got a call. This thing is only sold, you know, towards females apparently. But a lot of males pick this up and they're like, oh, okay. Because that's the thing in Sephora on the wall. It's on the female side. So I wouldn't have picked this up on my own. But, uh, you know, me being the like curious nose that I am, I picked it up and I was like, hold on, you know, hold on, I can rock this. You know, like this is this is decent type time. And I was like, okay. But yeah, really, really like this Tom Ford Black Orchid. It's nothing like it out here on the market, bro. Like I've not smelled anything like this DNA. This is great, great stuff. You a classy gentleman, classy female. Whenever you step out and want to turn heads when you all dressed up, this is one of those fragrances, man. But I really, really like this stuff. I think we had number five. That's number five. Tom Ford, Black Orchid. All right, at number four, this is a very popular clone from uh, Fragrance World. I think FW Paris World. And this is a, a clone of Nijane's Annie. And as soon as I say that, you know what it is, bro. This is Spectre Ghost, bro. It's cloning one of the best vanilla fragrances of all time, in my opinion, Nijane Annie. And just look at this bottle. Look at this presentation. Look at this presentation. That's beautiful. The bullet, the weight, it's, it's beautiful. But man, this stuff is good. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. I'm wearing this tonight and I'm wearing this tomorrow. And check out the atomizer, bro. Let's go ahead and get it sprayed. Look at that. Pressurized. Shout out to my man, Jeremy at the House of Colossus. That stuff is good. It's like a zesty lemon on the top. It's like, whew. A kind of a key lime pie type of feel. You got the vanilla base. It's like delicious, man. Really, really good stuff. The performance is pretty good on this stuff as well. As you can see how much juice this bottle pushes out. You're not gonna need too many sprays because one spray is equal to like two or three of a normal bottle. So this stuff is so, so good. Presentation is great. I think you could pick this up for around $38 right now on uh, fragrancebuy.ca if it is available. If not, just wait till it is, man, because don't overpay. Don't overpay. You know, these scalpers are trying to take advantage of the market. Just wait, man. These clones ain't going nowhere, bro. I promise you. But yeah, this is good, good stuff, man. And number four, we got Spectre Ghost. All right, y'all. Number three, we got something from Killian. And this is a very, very nice gourmand right here. This is Killian Black Phantom. I just copped this recently. But man, I am so impressed. Like, I've never had a fragrance change as much as this has on my skin. This thing has so many stages, so many depths. It is insane how complex and good this fragrance is, bro. Really, really good stuff. Kind of a chocolatey, nutty, like, I, I, you just gotta get your nose on it, man. This is a gourmand dream right here. Kind of smells like a nutty, like, chocolate cake, kind of. That's what I get from it. But it is delicious, bro. If you're trying to smell delicious, this might be even more delicious than Angel Share, bro. Like, it's up there. It depends if you're more of a, a chocolate cake person or apple pie person. You know, personally, I'm an apple pie person, but this is still delicious to me, bro. This is so, so good, Killing Black Phantom. I do have a clone from Alexandria. It's called uh, Dark Knight. That's good as well. But this thing is just in a class of its own, bro. Sometimes you just can't replicate the OG. And this OG that stands out on its own, completely unisex, right down the middle in my opinion. Don't be scared to cop a decan of this one or just try it out. Just spray this on you one night, put on a nice fit and go out. Thank me later. Number three, we got Killian Black Fam. All right, y'all, number two, we got a new one as well. This is Lele Labo, another 13. I don't know what was, I was trying to say. 
But this one is interesting to me, man. This is, has an ISO Super E in it. Got some citrus on the top. I think it's pear or something like that. Really, really good stuff right here, man. Also got some moss as well. This stuff is really, really good. I like this stuff a lot because it's kind of, it smells different on everybody depending on their chemistry a lot. And a lot of people tend to go nose blind to it and that's what makes people think it's overrated. But if you actually take a, like, like settle down, don't overspray it because the more you overspray, the more you go nose blind to it because it's gonna be beating the crap out of your nose. Just let this thing do the work for you, bro. And it just flows through the air. And it's just like so mass appealing, so clean. All, you can wear all four seasons in my opinion. Every single one, you will not have a problem. That's how clean and easy and versatile this stuff is. This is probably my number one signature scent in my book, in my opinion, because it's just right for every single occasion. And it's kind of right down the middle. I would say a little bit feminine, but it's one of Lake Labo's best offerings, bro, along with Santal 33. I really, really like those that as well, but this is this is head above that in my opinion this thing is a common beast the labo another 13 really really good dna i wear this around the house as you can see i put a little dent in this and i haven't worn this out too since then but really really good stuff the labo another 13 this stuff is amazing bro gotta get me a full bottle eventually number two all right y'all in my opinion this is the literal king of unisex fragrances bro the literal if you know my channel if you know me this is King Tut right here, bro. This is every it, every single time it does it. This is Naxos from Zherzhov. What do I have to say, man? What do I have to say? I think JPG Lamal Elixir was trying to come after this when they added that honey and tobacco. I don't know, I'm just saying. I ain't trying to start no beef. But hey, this stuff, man, honey, tobacco, that's all you get from it pretty much. But it's so, so, it's just like, it's king. Like when I spray this on me, my shoulders do this. My neck does this. Like I, I get, you know what I mean? Like I'm in my mode. If you ever smell this on me, get away from me, bro. Cause I'm on, I'm on gang. I'm on, you know, I'm, I'm ready, bro. Cause this stuff is so freaking good. It's, it's also unisex, but I don't know why. I just feel like it leans kind of masculine, but also a woman can wear this, like I said, but. It's just maybe the idea that I have in my head when I when I'm in the mood to put this on, maybe puts it in my like a more of a masculine vibe. But it's definitely unisex, bro. This thing is so so good. I copped this a while ago. I heard they did change the juice color. You see, my juice is kind of like yellowish. So, I, but I'm not worried about that because this thing is still a great great fragrance, a great great seller. I don't know about wearing this in the high heat in the summertime and even at nighttime, but. In the spring and fall, even winter, tobacco lounge, like date, social setting. I wore this to a bar one time when the uh, Phillies were in the World Series. I mean, in the uh, NCLS. And I got so many, like, nobody said anything to me. But you know how, like, when somebody smells good and you walk by and they smell you, you look at them and you get, like, kind of fascinated? You're like, hmm. But you're not going to say nothing, though, because you feel like it's weird to ask somebody what they're wearing because it's a personal thing. But... I got so many of those looks of like when you know you, you that dude, you know you smell good. Like this thing is just puts me in that mode. I don't know if y'all have been making sense right now. I'm probably just rambling. But this stuff is so good, man. Get your hands on some Naxos. This is just Naxos from Zerzhov. All right, y'all. That's the complete list. Y'all let me know what y'all top 10 unisex fragrances are down below, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming through. I love y'all so much. Stay blessed. Peace.